Let's take a look at your entire immigration history. Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States out of our offices in St. Louis, San Diego, and Washington, DC. In today's video, we're gonna talk about what happens when you apply for adjustment of status or any kind of immigration benefit in the United States as far as looking back at your entire immigration history? Any immigration lawyer worth his or her salt knows that when you are sitting across from an immigrant, whether it's on a screen or in your office, and they're wanting to get some new immigration benefit, they wanna apply for citizenship or for a 10-year green card or a two-year green card or a visa, you always want to start with how did this person get into the United States? What was their path here? Of course, if they entered without inspection, that's its own set of worms that you're gonna to have to deal with, its own set of problems, and that's gonna be covered in a different video. In this video, we're gonna talk about people who came to the United States on a non-immigrant visa. So of course, in the United States, we make a big distinction between non-immigrant visas and immigrant visas. A non-immigrant visa is like a visit visa or a student visa, some employment visas or some business visas. So a non-immigrant visa means you're promising that you're coming to the United States for a short period of time and whenever that purpose for you to come to the United States is over, that you intend and plan and will go back to your home country, or at least leave the United States. Contrast that to an immigrant visa. An immigrant visa is, I want to live in the United States. I want to plant my flag here. I want to live here for the rest of my life. I want to have permanent status, permanent resident status in the United States. I want to be able to reside in the United States forever. I want to be able to work in the United States forever. I want to be on a path towards citizenship. That's an immigrant visa. So when you apply on a non-immigrant visa, that's just your ticket to come into the United States, to come for a little bit and to go back home. Well, now when people come on that non-immigrant visa, they then later on sometimes maybe fall in love with a U.S. citizen and apply for an immigrant visa. So they want to adjust their status from a non-immigrant visa holder to a lawful permanent resident. Well, when you do that, USCIS, in trying to decide whether or not to let you become a lawful permanent resident, what they're doing now is they're getting the whole file from the State Department from back when you filed that DS-160. What did you put in that application? What was the reason you said you were coming to the United States? What ties did you have to your old country that convinced the officer that you were going to go back to the United States? And I bring all this up because I've been seeing more and more people getting into trouble based on what they said in their DS-160 interview or on their DS-160 application. There are people who hang out around the embassies and they offer to help you get a visa. And sometimes people are saying things that aren't necessarily true. And I came across a case this week where somebody got a student visa to the United States and later on they married a U.S. citizen. Well, when they applied for adjustment of status, the agency went back to the State Department and said, hey, we want to see everything that's in this person's DS-160. Can you show us? Well, it turns out that on the DS-160, they listed the address they intended to live at in the United States as the school's address, the school that they were coming to study at. And guess what? They only studied for one month and then they dropped out. And guess what more? When they got off the plane, they went straight to the house of the person who's now sponsoring them for a green card, the, their now spouse. So they came to the United States. They only went to school for a month. They got married about six months later, but they also moved in together as soon as the person got there. Well, guess what? That's a big problem. Now USCIS believes that the person misrepresented their true purpose in coming to the United States. And by not listing the address of their spouse as where they were going to live, they said that cut off a line of inquiry that prevented the officer from figuring out whether or not this person should really be receiving a non-immigrant visa. And because of that, they denied the case. Now they should have uh, invited the couple to file for a misrepresentation waiver, an I-601 waiver, but they did not. They just flat out denied the case. And I think these are the kinds of things that you're gonna see more so under President Trump. But in this case, it seems pretty neat and, and messy at the same time. Neat in that they just issued a flat denial and messy in that they said that you came on one stated purpose, but you didn't really come on that purpose. And you said you were going to live at the school, but you really just moved in with your boyfriend. And now that you're filing for adjustment, we're going to deny it and we're going to kick you out. So 
Do you see now what I mean by how important it is to understand what it is you put back long ago? It's almost like we wish you had a time machine to see what you're doing. And maybe we wish we could change some of the things that you did to get into the United States. And I know that a lot of people are desperate to come, but that doesn't mean it's not going to come back and bite you on the butt, which is now what's unfortunately happening for this couple. So if you want our help, in responding to annoyed, a notice of intent to deny, or request for evidence, or in getting your case on file and filing the strongest case possible, you should call us at 314-961-8200 or email us info at hackingimmigrationlaw.com. So please only call or email if you're actually thinking about hiring us. If you're just looking for free resources, we've got a ton of them. We have our Immigrant Home Facebook group, which we have thousands of members in talking about the immigration process. We have a YouTube channel with thousands of videos and hundreds of hours of live calls that I've done on there. I do this show, I do a show live three or four times a week on YouTube. If you subscribe to the channel and turn on the alerts, you'll get alerted when I go live or even easier. You can text the word show, S-H-O-W to 314-470-3300. And then whenever we go live, you'll get a link that day to the waiting room. So you can come in and ask me a question for free. Finally, uh, if you're not following us on TikTok, we're almost up to 150,000 followers. We'd love to have you follow us there. And that's at Immigration Hacking. Thanks so much for watching this video and we'll see you next time.